Hey, this is AJ and today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to talk a little bit about how I got the design for my backyard and kind of what I followed. I get a lot of questions on this, especially on Facebook. So uh, this is a quick sneak peek of the final product that I received, but I'm going to tell you how I got it. And if you want to try to do the same thing. So the way that I got my plan is I went to a website called Fiverr. So F I V E R R.com. And if you come in to here and set up an account and just do landscape design, you'll come up with people all around the world that do these types of services. So um, I think I did mine almost two and a half years ago. So I came through here and I scrolled through things and I was really interested in permaculture design. So I narrowed it down to a few different people and ultimately went with uh, a guy named Andre out of uh, Portugal. Unfortunately, he's not on Fiverr anymore, um, but he, he did a fantastic job. So we kind of went back and forth <clears throat> on what I was looking for. After I uh, submitted the order, we had a couple of video consultations kind of back and forth. I gave him the requirements, told him my location, everything that was kind of going on. Uh, and just to, just to get this out of the way, I ended up paying $262 for the design. I think it was $230 for the design, plus I gave a $30 tip because I was uh, just extremely happy with everything. But uh, you know, we went back and forth a little bit, shared some details, and then this is what Andre came back with. So let me... Uh, see if I can make the screen a little bit bigger and then I'll kind of walk through what I got. Um, uh, so, you know, just, just an overview page of, of what I had, but then the first thing he did is he laid out, um, kind of where the winds are coming from, just the general layout of my property. I gave him a, a copy of the plat, told him what it looked like right now. So this is my house with all the trees around it. And the coolest thing, thing that he did is he took this kind of outer circle here and he tracked where the sun is uh, during the winter and where it is during uh, kind of during the summer and where the uh, the overlap is a little bit. So that really affects where you're going to put the different types of plants. He has kind of the wind coming in here, what's going on. And again, I just gave him the general layout. He had gone and done the research and pulled all the precipitation uh, data, uh, temperature data, and all the other things that are associated with this, uh, with the, especially um, San Antonio area. So after we had that, then I kind of told him the, the rough layout I wanted. And we went back and forth on this uh, circle design that I have. Uh, some people call this a keyhole design, but I was trying to look for something that I could access fairly easy, you know, go straight off my back porch and get over to everything. Uh, so this is kind of what he came up with. And we talked a little bit about some swales, ways to capture water, uh, putting a few things in here. So this became the starting point of ev everything. And I've taken a lot of this and just modified it a little bit based off of, you know, like if I have big rocks in the yard or, or where irrigation is. Because if I follow this plan to the T, uh, there would have been a lot of moving around and stuff. So in my yard, I, I move things around kind of bits and pieces at, at a time. Um, and then finally, just another generic overview. Uh, but this is really where he made the money for me is he gave me a plant list of all the different types of plants that will survive in my environment because... We're actually very similar in the San Antonio area to what's going on in Portugal. So he provided this big plant list and I went out and I started getting a bunch of these different plants. And sure enough, um, most of these are working in my yard. Uh, so if you want to stop and take a screenshot of this, uh, if you're kind of curious what kind of grows here in the San Antonio area, uh, go ahead and take a look at it. I haven't experimented with everything. Like you'll see uh, raspberries in here. I have rad raspberries in a bad place in my yard right now. So I'm still working with that, but everything else that I've put in so far is is taking hold and again i haven't planted everything but uh um and then some final details and some swale information but anyway hopefully this is uh this is helpful for you who are interested in getting some type of landscape design i would recommend checking out fiverr um or you know if you have somebody local that's even better but uh, i had a really good experience with andre and i was pretty happy so anyway hope you like it any questions let me know